Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this adorable baby blanket. This is the Snuggle Me Up Baby Blanket. It is in the granny square form. It's in a square, perfect square design. But look at how beautiful that design looks from the middle. It looks like a flower blooming. It's so beautiful. And this yarn is so fabulous. So I'll get into the supplies we need and then we'll get into making this fabulous blanket. And you can make it as big as you want because it is a repeat pattern. So big thing. Thank you to Circulo Yarn for providing this yarn today. Here's the label of this yarn specifically that I'm using. This is a uh, fingering weight. So you'll have to get either a uh, two strand. We're going to use two strands at the same time. Or you can use one strand of worsted weight or Aran yarn. So really any yarn that you want to. And any hook size that you want to really. But for this specific pattern, I'm using two strands of this yarn at the same time. Uh, and I used four balls. So two balls at the same time. And then two more balls at the same time to finish this complete blanket. So if you want to get this exact yarn, you can go to Circulo's website uh, and get it from them. And it says it's at circuloyarns.com. I will link this in the description of this video so you'll be able to just click that link and purchase your yarn from them. This is a pretty pinkish purple color. Absolutely love it. So I'm using the, that yarn. I'm using an H size crochet hook, which is five millimeters. This crochet hook is from the Etsy shop, Would Be Fancy, and I'll be using this in my uh, tutorial today. You can get these hand carved, ergonomically cut wooden handled crochet hooks. They're very lightweight and they're wider on the handle so that it's easier to hold in your hand and crochet for longer periods of time. I absolutely love these and I use them in all of my tutorials and I highly recommend that you get one as well. So an H size hook for this pattern. Also a scissors and a yarn needle just to cut your yarn and sew in your ends at the end. Uh, but that's really it. This, me this measures 36 inches across here. Okay, 36 inches. But you can make it as big as you want. It is a repeat pattern after round three. So there's the center and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So that is all the information. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and let me know. Otherwise, a big thank you to Circulo Yarns for this yarn. A huge thank you to my dad who's over my shoulder filming this whole tutorial and posting it up on YouTube, editing the video and everything. And thanks to you for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button before we get started and making this blanket. So let's grab our crochet hook and our scissors and a yarn needle and get started on making the Snuggle Me Up baby blanket. So we're going to start out by putting both strands together and using getting to the ends here. And we're going to start by making a slip knot. So we're going to use both strands at the same time to create a thicker strand of yarn. If you want to, you can just use a worsted weight or an Aran weight yarn and that would work perfectly fine. So to do a slip knot, we're going to put our short end over our long end, our working yarn, here. Flip that. And then we're going to fold this down, this loop here, the circle. We're going to fold it down over the working yarn. Okay, long strand. And then pull that through. And there's your slip knot. Then we're going to insert our hook, making sure we have both strands of yarn on the hook. And pull, but not too tight. Now we're going to start off by making a traditional granny square shape, uh, very similar to the basic granny square here. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Oops, see, I hooked on only one strand, so I'm going to have to go back through and hook on both and pull it through. And that way we have both strands of yarn at the same time. We're going to work into this third chain from the hook right here. So yarn over, go into that third chain. So one, two, three, this one, which is right next to our slip knot. We're going to go into there. So we yarned over, go in there, yarn over and pull it through that chain. Okay, so we, it looks like we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through two of those loops. 
and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops and there's your double crochet now this part right here looks like a chain up two we're gonna ignore that for the whole pattern the chain up two in any round is just ignored completely so we're going to put two more double crochets into that chain so yarn over go into that same chain yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops so there's double crochet double crochet and another double crochet yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops now we're at the corner and for every corner of every round we are going to chain four one two three and four then we're going to put three more double crochets into this it's going to be the middle ring basically so if you wanted to start this project with a magic ring and make your first round a traditional granny square you can totally do that just make sure you chain four in the corners and do three double crochets then chain four so three more double crochets in here here's one Here's two, and three, oh, I lost a loop here, there we go, and three. So make sure you hook on uh, both strands of yarn at the same time. It can be kind of difficult at first. So there's our first corner, okay, so we're going to make our next corner, so chain four, one. Ooh, I feel like I had too much coffee and I'm like shaking. <laughs> Two, three, four. There we go. All right. The coffee keeps me going. So let's put three more double crochets into that middle right here. Three more double crochets. One, two, three. There we go. And the next corner, so you can see it's starting to make the square shape. Okay, so we have to do the next corner here. Chain four. One, two, three, and four. We're chaining four because we're putting cluster stitches in the corners for the next rounds, and that just creates more space for your cluster stitches to fit. Then our last grouping of three double crochet go into the middle here. So... This is our last side of our square. One, two, and three. Perfect. Now our last corner, chain four. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to slip stitch to the first double crochet. Not this chain up two here. See this one, two? Not this. This actual double crochet stitch right here, go in yarn over pull through and through the loop on your hook and that creates a slip stitch and now we can go on to the next row now for every row you could do every row or every two rows we're going to turn our work around I, I did it for every single row so we're going to chain up two every row now from here on out chain up two turn your work around okay and now here I'm starting in a corner we're not going to start in a corner every single time, so I'll show you how to do that here. We're going to start off by making a double crochet into the corner here. So yarn over, go into the ch chain four space here of the corner, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. There's our double crochet. This chain up two does not count as anything, and it'll be invisible when you put your blanket together. You won't see the seam which is nice. Now we're going to make a four double crochet cluster into this corner as well. So a four double crochet cluster, we're going to yarn over, go into the chain four space, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. We're going to hold these two loops on your hook and do that again. So yarn over, go back into the chain four space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over pull through two and hold that loop on your hook 
Okay, we have to do that two more times to have four of these half done double crochet stitches. This will create our cluster. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and one more time, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have five loops on our hook. Let's yarn over and pull through all five of those loops. And there's our cluster. Now we're going to do the corner. So we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to make another cluster into this four, uh, this chain four corner here. So same exact stitch as this one, just on this side of it. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. What? Cut. Why is that happening? Okay, so we have one part done here. Let's yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through. Whoopsie. Yarn over, pull through two. So we have three loops on the hook. We want to get five loops on our hook without losing your loops. <laughs> There's one, two, three. Yarn over, go back in. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. There's four loops. One more. Yarn over, go in. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. And that gives us five loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all five of those loops. And just like the beginning of this corner, we started with a regular double crochet. So we're going to put a double crochet after this cluster. So yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Fabulous. So those that's the corner for every round. Double crochet, cluster, chain four, cluster, double crochet. All in the chain four space. It's <laughs> a lot. Now this is going to be a solid granny square. So we are going to double crochet in each of these next three double crochet stitches. So yarn over, go in to the top here of this one. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. All right, double crochet in the second one here. And this third one here. And now we're at the next corner. So we are going to put a double crochet, then our four double crochet cluster. So remember, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Do that four times. So that was one. Here's two. Here's three. And here's four. And now you should have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all five loops and then chain four. One, two, three, four. And then make another cluster. If you have to slide this over to make room for your next cluster, a four double crochet cluster. So there's one, two, three, and let me get more yarn here, four. Then you have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all five of those loops, and then we're going to put another double crochet into the corner. Okay, and there's our next corner. Fabulous! So then we're just going to double crochet in each of these next three stitches, do the next corner, these next three stitches, this corner, and then when I finish this last side here, I'll come back and I'll show you how to finish this round. All right, when you're finishing this round, remember to double crochet in each of these double crochet stitches. Even this one, even though this chain two looks like it's in that one, see, one, two, make sure to double crochet in that last stitch. And then we're gonna slip stitch to the first double crochet of this round. So not this chain two here, one, two. We're actually gonna go into the stitch right here and yarn over, pull through, and through. Perfect. So now, from here on out, um, it's a repeat pattern, but I do want to mention, after your second uh, corner uh, cluster stitch, 
after the first one, we chain four. But after the second one, do not chain anything. We're just going to create that double crochet after that cluster stitch. Uh, a lot of people, to close their cluster stitch, they call it closing their cl cluster stitch to secure it, they usually chain one after them, but we're not doing that in this pattern. We're just making the cluster and then going straight into making the next double crochet into that corner. And then double crochet in each of the next double crochets across. So in the next row, you're going to double crochet into the cluster and each of the double crochets and the cluster and then make your corners exactly how we did in this round. Double crochet, cluster, chain four, cluster, double crochet in every round after this. Okay, so let's chain two. Again, that does not count as anything. Turn your work if you were turning your work. And then, so the last stitch I work in every round is the stitch that I chain two in. So I'm not going to work in this stitch yet. When I come all the way around this round, I'm going to work in this stitch last. Okay, so our next uh, stitch right here goes into this, next, this stitch right here. And we are going to double crochet into each stitch until we hit the corner. And that's for every round. We're just going to double crochet in each stitch until we hit the corner. Even double crocheting into the cluster stitch here. Just like that. Okay, then we're going to make our corner, so that's a double crochet, a cluster, which is a four double crochet cluster. One, two, three, four, Okay, so we have five loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all five loops. Chain four. One, two, three, four. And then a four double crochet cluster. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, pull through all five loops. And then double crochet into that same corner. And there's our corner stitches. Sweet. Now we're just gonna double crochet in each stitch until we hit the next corner and just put those stitches in our next corner. The double crochet, then cluster, then chain four, then cluster, and then double crochet. And then just double crochet into each stitch until the next corner and do that all the way around. So I'll do that and then I'll show you how to go on to the next row. All right, finishing up this round, remember what I said in the beginning there where I double crochet in this stitch where the chain two comes out of last, that's what I'm doing here. And then we're going to slip stitch to the first double crochet. So skip this chain two, one, two here, go into this double crochet and slip stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through and through then chain two to go on to the next round and just repeat what you did in that last round. So that's your repeat round is just double crocheting in each stitch and you know how to make your corners in the chain four spaces of the corners and just double crochet in each stitch. Then slip stitch into the first double crochet when you come back around. And then chain two, turn your work and go on to the next step, next round. So I'm going to do that, and then when I finish my blanket, excuse me, I would sneeze. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I had to sneeze. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> going on to uh, the next rounds, I'm going to finish my blanket. I'll let you know how many rows I do when I'm done. Uh, you want it to measure 36 inches across. Uh, since it's a square, it'll measure 36 by 36. You could do 40 by 40 if you want it a little bit bigger, like a play mat uh, for a baby. But I'm just going to do a 36 inch blanket. And when I'm ready to fasten off, I'll show you how to do that. And we'll sew in some ends and we'll be done. All right, this is my last stitch. I'm going to slip stitch to the first double crochet and we're going to fasten off. I did a total of 30 rows, okay? So you can do 30 rows or even 36 rows. We're going to chain one and cut this yarn. Also, I used um, four of these uh, balls of yarn. So two at the same time. So two and two. Uh, I did run out. So 
um, but actually I have a little bit left over of this. I could have gone longer, but it's as big as I want it to be. So I chained one and I cut my yarn, I pulled it all the way through, and then I'm pulling this tight to secure it, and then I'm going to grab my yarn needle. And any ends that you may have, just yarn your needle with them like this, and then just go into the stitches, underneath the stitches, and sew it in. And there you have it, this adorable, super soft, by the way. This cotton yarn is amazing uh, for blankets, for clothing. Thank you to Circulo Yarn for providing this yarn for me. They sent it to me a while back, and I just, it's been sitting and waiting for the perfect project. And here it is, the Snuggle Me Up Baby Blanket. I absolutely love it. Let me cut this extra here and we can admire our work. Now what I'm going to do off camera is lay this on a towel. I might fold it in half, but stretch it out and lay it down and spray it and pin it down in the square shape so that it keeps its shape because it kind of feels like it's like a little bit bowing in here. So I want to stretch it out and give it the perfect shape that it needs. And once it's dry from being sprayed and pinned down and and then it dries, it will keep its shape. And when you wash it more often, it'll become more softer as well. So this cotton yarn is super fabulous. Here, I'll show the label again. Circulo Charm. And uh, yeah, that was great to work with Brazilian cotton yarn. So thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this Snuggle Me Up blanket with me. Thanks to my dad back over my shoulder filming this whole tutorial and editing it and posting it up on YouTube for everybody to see. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy hooking!